Hey guys, I had this idea that it would be super fun, for me at least, and maybe to some of you, uh, to show you around and give you a little tour of uh, my basement, <laughs> which is where I run my Etsy shop out of. Um, I have it right now in like the perfect, for me at least, the perfect little setup for me to run my shop out of. Um, and I thought it might be fun to, to see how I have it set up and what it looks like right now and how I utilize the space. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So when you first come down here, the first thing you see is a treadmill and an old arcade machine. Um, my dad built that, it's his. This is my treadmill. They are down here because there's nowhere else for them to be. <laughs> So those are down here, and then, ta-da! It is organized chaos, is what I like to call it. And then right here, so right here is a few item, uh, photography items. So I have a light box. Um, I have a little iPhone tripod with a ring light. That has backdrops for the light box. <laughs> and then I just got this tea stand for backdrops. And I ordered a backdrop for it, which is on the way, and I can't wait to use it. I just got this for Christmas, but I'm so excited to start using it. It gets super tall, honestly. I'll show you, like, I haven't extended any of these. So it actually gets pretty, pretty tall. I forget how tall exactly, but yeah, all my little photography stuff goes right there. Then right here, we have a little storage cart, and this... I just got off Amazon, but look. It has a little extender that comes out like that. And so this is just random storage. I put outgoing mail in here. Then down here, I have a few photo backdrops for just like little items. Um, I have some shredded paper. The mug press for my heat press, which is right there. Um, some paper, bags, mouse pads, pop sockets, car coasters, pop sockets. This is just random stuff. Like there's an, there's a UV light, some clamps for the stand, um, an iron candy. If you saw my last video, you know what the candy is from. But this is super nice. I really like this and it has wheels so you can roll it around. It's fantastic. Again, I got that off Amazon and I usually have this down just because it takes up less space. Then over here, we have my heat press, which I love, it's pink. So my heat press, and then just a little heat tape dispenser and a chair. I rarely sit here, I'm usually standing when I'm working here. Yeah, and then I have, <laughs> I have my trash hanging on an iPhone tripod, super fancy. This is my sublimation printer. So this is specifically for use with sublimation prints for the heat press, which is why it's right next to the heat press. Then I have this vinyl organizer with all sorts of gorgeous vinyl. Um, and then moving down here, in this drawer we've got bookmarks, keychains, sun catchers, extra ink, measuring tape, more keychains, ribbon, clear vinyl, a notebook, <laughs> more vinyl, transfer tape, a heat gun, and then paper, extra glass straws, and bamboo lids. And then this drawer is, I didn't, I built this myself and I didn't build it very well. So this drawer is especially hard to open and close. So I'm not gonna show you what's in there, but it's just like random stuff that I wanna keep that I don't need to get too often <laughs> because of the fact that that drawer doesn't open well. And then in this cabinet, we've got um, some envelopes. We've got sticker backing cards. Those are my sticker backing cards. That's my Etsy shop. And then coffee filters, which I use to wipe down my glass products because it doesn't leave any lint behind and a camera. And this is a gimbal that I use to make 
videos sometimes. And then this, these are all of my 12 by 12 uh, vinyl storage. And they're all separated out by color family. So those all fit in nicely right there. And that's that little cabinet. Then we go here. So this is my main printer that I use for stickers and anything else that needs to be printed that isn't sublimation. So stickers, receipts, anything else, that's this printer. Um, I also have my label printer right here. And then down here, this is where I keep all of my scraps of holographic laminate for uh, sticker making. Just in case I run out of laminate, I can grab some scraps from there and make do. Then I have all of this sticker storage. <laughs> I was running out of sticker storage earlier and my mother, my sweet mother, went and got me four more of these, which are my favorite ways to store my stickers so far. So these two are full. Those were the first two I filled up. Then I filled up these two. Now I'm in the process of filling these three, and then I'm gonna work on those two. Over here, we've got different types of papers. We've got sublimation paper, cardstock, sticker paper, and then the holographic overlay for stickers is, should be right here. <laughs> I just got more delivered today. I just haven't gotten it out of the package yet. Then I have some baking canisters that I have for sale on my shop. There was nowhere else to put them, so I put them there. Next, we have my little workstation. So what's really nice about this is I got these little lights. It's very dark in our basement. So I got these little lights and it kind of lights up the area so it's easier for me to see. And these are just like USB lights and you can turn down the brightness. I just got these on Amazon. They're so nice. And then I have a little pegboard that is not very full because I just got these for Christmas and have not, you know, I haven't fully filled them up yet, but we've got, you know, some Cricut tools, heat resistant tape, stuff like that. Cricut cutting mat with <laughs> scraps of transfer tape on it because I refuse to waste any transfer tape. My Cricut machine, another light. Cricut mats are hanging up on the wall as well as this thing. I don't know what you call that. Here I have this isn't soapy water, this is just plain water. Um, and alcohol, I keep some of the sticker backing cards I showed you earlier right here, just so I have them handy. Box cutter, some stamps, care instructions for my products. And then just some odds and ends. These are Tech Wrap Craft, uh, what are they called? Vinyl samples, receipts, squeegees, all sorts of random stuff. Here, paintbrushes, pens, pin pens, what have you. So that's my little work area. That's where anybody who has ordered from me, this is where your product was made. <laughs> right here at this desk. Over here is the newest addition to my setup, which is this bag rack. Um, for the longest time, I had all of my bags, my tote bags that I sell, just in a uh, cardboard box. And I hated going through it to find a specific bag anytime somebody placed an order. So now I have them all here on this nice little, they're so cute, on this nice little rack. So that whenever somebody orders one, I can just come and grab it. This is just me advertising now. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the newest edition and one of my favorites. Here is a little rolling side cart that just has a bunch of random stuff on it. It's kind of a mess, I don't wanna talk about it. This <laughs> is my, my shipping station, as I like to call it. So I have tons of bubble wrap, different types of bubble wrap, tissue paper. Um, most of these boxes are filled with bubble wrap. This box is extra shipping labels. This box is extra glass cans. 
Then we have two different types of cutters to have a scale, envelopes, thank you stickers, tape, fragile stickers, confetti, all that fun stuff. And then over here, bubble wrap boxes, bubble mailers. I also have more bubble mailers on the way. Then we have glass mugs down here, glass cans up here, some blank for custom orders, and then some that are pre-made. Up here we have more glass mugs. I am obsessed with this vinyl. I can't get over how gorgeous this vinyl looks. Same with this one. This one's a Christmas mug, but that white glitter is just so pretty. But this, I mean, this is genuinely one of my favorite vinyls I've ordered in a while. It's so beautiful. The like coral gold shift. Anyway, enough of that. So more glass mugs appear, shot glasses ready to be made. Then I have all of the straws and bamboo lids for the glass cans. All nicely organized over there. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So yeah, I hope that was interesting for you to see, or um, I don't know, maybe you got an idea for how to organize your own space. This has been working very, very well for me. Um, as of right now, there's not much that I would change about how I have it set up. So yeah, this was a little sneak peek into how I run my Etsy shop in regards to specifically how I have things set up um, to make it so it's the most efficient for me to fulfill orders and send them out and also have it be like clean and neat and organized. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. See you in the next one. Bye!